Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett with HardOCP.com and today what we're going to look at is we're going to be looking at the Ashes of Singularity Escalation Benchmark uh, using AMD Ryzen. So what you probably heard about is, you know, a lot, of, a lot of things have been said in the media for the last couple of weeks about Ryzen that, hey, these game engines need to be optimized to better handle Ryzen and its instruction set. So what AMD has done is they have given us access to a new uh, tweaked out uh, engine for Ashes of Singularity that will be public today as you are seeing this. And so we're going to see just how much a difference it makes. So what we're dealing with here is we have a Ryzen 1700X CPU. It's running at 3.9 gigahertz. This uh, happens to be on an Asus Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. The memory, we've got 16 gigs of Corsair memory running at 2933 in dual channel configuration. This does happen to be Corsair memory rated at 4000. It's been working really good for us. So uh, our graphics card is a GeForce GTX 1080 Ti with the latest driver as of uh, Tuesday when I'm recording this. So we can get rid of that. So uh, what I want to show you here, show you exactly how we're uh, testing this. And um, I've already set this up and we've been running on this some. But if you want to play along at home, it's, it's pretty easy. When you open up uh, Ashes of Singularity Escalation, go into the Options tab, go into the Video tab, select Quality Profile. At that point you'll select Low. Then you'll select a resolution of 1280 by 768. And then you'll select the DirectX 12 graphics interface. Okay. At that point, when you select OK, you'll have to go back out of the game and, um, and reboot it. We're not going to do that here. Just save us a little time. So, get down here, you hit benchmark. Now you get a chance or a choice between GPU focused and CPU focused. We're going to pick CPU focused and we're going to run the test. Okay. So now you'll see it goes through uh, about a 22 second uh, load up of this. And we watch right here as our game engine's coming in. You already see it starting to utilize all 16 threads. So that's one thing that this game engine's been really well, good at rather. Uh, just kind of like Lost Planet used to be and one of the reasons we've kept Lost Planet for so long. Uh, the other reason that we are using the GTX 1080 Ti uh, number one, so we don't have any sort of GPU bottleneck at all, which is also while we're using low graphical settings. So when we're, we're simply wanting to test the CPU and seeing how much better or if it runs better using the new uh, optimized Oxide game engine that Ashes of Singularity Escalation uses. You can see over here, we're staying loaded across our threads at about 85%. It's been going between 85 and 90 as we're watching it, but obviously you can see it using all 16 threads. Now this benchmark will run for uh, three minutes total. And uh, obviously we're not gonna sit here and watch it run together, but I'll cut away, we'll come back, and uh, then we'll uh, load up our new engine, our new Oxide engine, and see what that gets us. So we're about 10 seconds away from our uh, completion of the benchmark. Like I said, it's three minutes long. You can still see we're loaded across all 16 threads. And our result here is average CPU frame rate of 36.4 seconds. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna load up the new uh, optimized for Ryzen Oxide engine and see how that performs. So we're back here with Ashes of Singularity Escalation. And now you can see that what we're running here is the AMD press build of this. Obviously, you won't have access to this, but this should be the build you're able to see running on your own machine. So this is the first time we've opened it up. We're gonna check our options, go back to video. Everything's still set up. Obviously, we're running this in windowed mode at home. I have checked between windowed mode and full screen and uh, seen no differences. Coming back here, 
I'm to benchmark, CPU focused, and run the test. So, again, we're seeing uh, all of our threads load up. And once we get done here, I'll bring you back in and we'll check the results. Okay, right before we get back to look at these results, this is kind of interesting. So on the previous Oxide engine build, we were seeing it run between 85 to 90% uh, CPU utilization. Now, if you can check right there in the corner of your screen, you can see we're running between 80 to 85. So the actual processor utilization across the 16 threads is less, but we're still seeing that pretty well evenly distributed. So I'll watch through that till the end of the benchmark and we'll discuss that. So we've got about 10 seconds left on the benchmark and across the entire uh, three minutes, I did see actual the processor utilization go down. So this is really interesting. So we saw less processor utilization and our average CPU frame rate is up to 42.3 on our first run. So absolutely they did, uh, they did squeeze a, they did squeeze some optimization out of that engine, assuredly. So we finished up a few runs here. We took, uh, we took some averages of our numbers. We surely did see the CPU utilization overall stay lower comparative to what we saw in the unoptimized engine. Uh, what we ended up on the first engine was 36.275 frames per second average. With the optimized uh, oxide engine for Ryzen, we saw 42.77 frames per second average, which gave us a 16.4 per six, uh, 16.46 percent increase in frames, which is awesome. Uh, if we can see this in other games, surely if you're if you're GPU, if you're not GPU limited, if you are CPU limited in your gaming, at, say lower resolutions at like 1080, that can make a difference. But you know the the difference is here. Most engines we see today in gaming do not translate across all 16 threads. Um, so I would say this is very much a best case scenario. That's not saying that you could not see this in other games at all. I'm just saying that this is a best case scenario probably for this situation. Certainly want to see uh, better things come to life for Ryzen, assuredly. We'll see where it goes from here.